Hello my frugal friends, welcome to March's mini savings challenge. Oh hey, if we haven't had the chance to hang out before, my name is Nikki, I'm an Aussie mum and I love sharing all of the tips and tricks that have helped us budget better, demolish all of our debt, skyrocket our savings and still have heaps of frugal fun along the way. If that sounds like your jam, I hope you will consider hitting that little subscribe button down below so you can join in all of the fun too. And one of the ways that we liked to keep budgeting and saving and paying off our debt fun was to come up with all of these little mini savings challenges. Now it's one thing to budget and get a side gig and throw extra money towards your debt and all that sort of stuff but it does start to feel a little bit same same I know your name if you know what I mean so we liked to try and spark things up a little bit keep things interesting by coming up with all of these little mini savings challenges so they were always different we we're always doing something different to try and just squeeze a little bit extra out find some extra cash that we could throw towards our debt or throw towards our savings and the thing is we still do it today because it's kind of fun. <laughs> so what I started doing this year was actually just sharing with you guys what we're doing each month to keep our savings fun and funky. So March is keep the change. That's March's challenge. And the idea basically is that anything under the $5 mark is going to go into savings. Need to say that again, because I don't think that made sense. So the aim of the game in March is to keep the difference in change between our purchases and the nearest five dollars so we're going to round up so basically if you're using cash that's really easy in Australia if you have any spare change that is coins we're just going to pop those into a coin jar and keep those we do separate out our silver and our goldies I like to keep them separate but basically we're just going to keep the change we've been playing this game for a little while so we do have a little bit of a head start but that's okay it's fine one of the things about these challenges is that you can do them for a short amount of time you can do them for a long time whatever floats your boat it really doesn't matter the idea is just to have a little bit of fun and do something a little bit different now if you don't use cash what you can do is a lot of the banking apps now will let you have a round up feature. So you can round up to the nearest dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you want to do. If you have that feature, that is fantastic. We bank with ING, or at least for the time being, because I've got to be honest with you guys, this is just a side note, super not happy about the changes that they've brought in this month with regards to being eligible for their savings rate and stuff like that. So we are looking at moving banks. So this is not an endorsement for ING because, yeah, they've kind of like, they've done a bit of a switcheroo, which is not cool. But anyways, back to what we're talking about. ING does have a round up and you can pick what you want to round up to. So if we do a an ATM or an FPOS transaction or anything like that, you can round up. It doesn't work with BPAY, only when using your card. But the other thing you can do, if you are serious about it, is you can round up after you've made a purchase uh, that you know that you've done. So if you've just gone to the shops or you've bought something online, make sure that you jump into your online banking and just transfer the difference across to a savings account of your choice. The other way that you can play this game that I've seen other people do is at the end of every day, they log into their bank account and they, they just transfer over any odd change that they still have in their bank account. So it's not after every single transaction, but the end of each day, they jump in and they will round out their account by transferring any stray change or money or leftover amounts to say the nearest ten dollars or I've even seen some people who do it to the nearest hundred dollars which is pretty cool if you want to go that way but however you want to do it the idea is we want to keep the change in March 
All right, well, there you go. That is March's mini savings challenge. One hot tip that I will give you guys before you jump into it is make sure that you have an account to go to where you're going to save all of this money. We like to use our $1,000 challenge account where basically we're aiming to save up chunks of $1,000 and then we're going to transfer that to a goal of our choice. If you have a specific account set up, like your $1,000 challenge account, then you can also go and deposit your change into that account too when you go and cash out all of your actual physical coins or you could direct all of your roundup allocations I don't know what they're called roundup amounts to that account as well and then at the end of the month you can see exactly how much you have saved by saving the change all right, well, that's it for me. I do hope that you join us for March's mini savings challenge. Whether you end up saving $20 or $200, it doesn't really matter. It's all about being intentional, setting yourself a challenge and being focused on achieving your goals. I guarantee that it's not the amount that you save across the month. It's the intentionality that will make all of the difference in your big long term savings goals. And as always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, if you could please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. It lets me know the kind of content that you guys are enjoying and what you would like to see more of. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you are going to join us for March's mini savings challenge. And if you do complete this month's challenge, I'd love to hear from you after you've done that. Come back, find this video. Let me know in the comments just how much you saved by saving the change. All right, well, that's it from me today. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I do hope you join us for this challenge. It is a little bit of fun and it's really, really easy to implement. And as always, I do hope to see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, my friends. Bye.